Today we're testing the Mini Pico Projector. This part here is not user friendly. So we're going to test the Pico Mini Projector using the given interface. So I'm searching for the mouse cursor on the screen, but I can't uh, find it. Eventually, the mouse cursor appears. So here it is. And I can select from popular on TV, music, sports, gaming, news, and live. Um, sometimes when you when we watch YouTube, it gives us things that um, like songs and all that. And on Netflix, it's a bit like it's frozen. So now I picked the first movie. Okay, it didn't really sense it. Now it did. So the other thing is there are ads before you can watch and um, it's pretty difficult to change or stop the ad like how we can juggle in the desktop. Try to use the remote at the point to it. Or I can scroll down and look, it's okay. Obviously, it sends, but it's like what is going? It's you see, for seconds, it's still not changing the channel. Yeah, it's like a stone. Okay, I got to press home, the home button. And now, let's take a look at Netflix. It's not that. So, let's say we also want to change the movie uh, again. <laughs> it's frozen there. And uh, I got to use here maybe. It's very uh, user unfriendly in my opinion. It's not that friendly. So the title is not available to watch instantly. Please try another title. So this is really something that it's uh, not so nice about it. Uh, so now Heidi will measure the size of the image on the wall. You see, I cannot see this, so I have to scroll. Okay, 
if let's say we want to watch this So there are two buttons here, one is to lower the volume and this one is to increase the volume. Here is the menu, home button and the back button. This is the adjustment for the position of the image. The back is a headphone jack, USB port and a DC 5V connector point. Here is the on off switch and a mini HDMI port. Overall, I still find that the usability on the front touch pad is still very cumbersome and it is not user friendly.